Good morning, YouTube. Geezer and the gang here. We're, uh, as you can tell, we're heading out really early this morning. Today we crossed the Mojave Desert and uh, we wanted to get a real early start, try to get through there before it gets too hot. So, Lucy and the girls are still, they're still in bed. No sense them being up this early. Um, this is, uh, this is an excellent little park here that we stayed in. In fact, we stayed here for a couple of days. We, we just took an extra day to kind of regroup and chill and utilize our pool here. This is really a nice day. It's called Fort Beale RV Park. And uh, it was $33 and a little bit of change a night here, and that's with no discounts. That's just a regular price, uh, with the exception of uh, this is an off season rate that we got. And, uh, oh yeah, something else you might be noticing is I don't have on, uh, I'm not wearing my classic sus suspenders and polo shirt. I've actually got old t-shirt and a pair of shorts on today. Just getting ready for this little trip across the nothingness of the Mojave Desert. I'm gonna go over to the truck stop. It's just just on the other side of the interstate from where we're at. Pack this thing full of fuel and get me a cup of coffee and then we're gonna put it in the wind and see what the day brings us. checklist full of fuel check the oil check the transmission check the air pressure and the tires filled the fresh water tank and uh, the waste holding tanks barely used so they were all right didn't do anything with them uh, got the coach air conditioner set up to run on the generator if we need it. So I think we're all set. It's time to head on down the road. Welcome to Pacific Time. Cheers. I don't know. We've been wondering where the desert was at. I mean, we've gone through deserts, but they really look more like plains, almost like, you know, almost like home. We have wondering where the big, long expanses of sand and nothing was that well here it is We're about five miles 
south end side of California. And already class is warming up a little bit. The oil pressure's staying consistent, but she's warming up a little bit. So we got a long way to go to get out of here. So, we'll hope for the best. It's only California time. It's only 5.30 in the morning, so maybe we'll be all right. Well, we just uh, we just went through our agricultural checkpoint, and uh, we passed. All we had was the, the produce that we had bought. We still had because we were told by a California resident that as long as it was bought at a grocery store and we had receipts for it, it wouldn't be a problem. And they were right. So. Looks like we ate a whole lot of fruits and veggies the last couple of days for no particular reason at all. But what the heck, I guess it was healthy for us. So, oh, the one other thing that they were looking for that uh, I wasn't aware of is firewood. Uh, we don't carry firewood, so it's not an issue, but some people do. You don't want to bring outside firewood into California. We've been cruising around Barstow for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, it's a nice little town. Got a lot of neat old Route 66 uh, things uh, along the route here. And uh, But there's no place to park this uh, 26 foot Class C. I mean, she's not very big and I can usually get in and out of anything. But that town is just plane packed uh, and we can't really find a, a, a campground that, that suits us here and uh, we've seen all we can all we can see we can, I mean the traffic's so thick you can't even stop take a picture or nothing so we're gonna go ahead and keep on going we're trying to find a old route 66 we're, at, we're actually on it now going through town but See if we can get it going outside of town and uh, get on out of here. We found it. We're back on old Route 66. Headed back out into the desert. Hey, we've just pulled over to the side of the road here on Route 66 to uh, visit Elmer's Bottle Tree Ranch. And this is spectacular already. This is just a project started to display. 
display some old bottles that his dad found and it's turned into this. Let's go check it out. Elmer's uh, bottle tree farm was never really part of the old Route 66, even though some people think so. Um, it's, it's relatively new. I think he started it in like 2004 or something. It wasn't that long ago. But it's a prime example of the tradition of Route 66 being carried forward. And this place is just stupid cool. I mean, it, everywhere you look, there's just something different, interesting. This is absolutely a must-see if you're going to tour Route 66. We've been here quite a while, so for us, it's time to head on down the road. Elmer, you done good. Right, Midge? Midge likes it. Yeah, I know. 